Hey, this is Sherry Kirkland and I'm here to uh, answer a frequently asked question that I get. Um, I get it just about every week. Um, somebody asked me about uh, the concept of link tracking and how do you track your affiliate links and how do you know what advertising sources are working best for you and getting the most clicks. And the answer has a couple of parts and a couple of caveats. I'm going to explain all that to you today. Um, the the concept the basic concept of link tracking is just to supply a an affiliate link or whatever link you want to track uh, into an ad tracker and then that ad tracker will generate a new URL that you can use in your advertising and then every time that that generated URL gets clicked there's a counter on it so for this example right here I pasted in this affiliate URL, the system generated this one, I put this one into a particular letter in my autoresponder, and it's received uh, 81 hits since June the 11th of 2013. So that tells me that there are people reading that letter and clicking the link. Um, and you can see I have quite a few of those set up. Um, another example is on my Facebook fan page. I have these um, buttons right here. And like this blog button right here is being tracked via this ad tracker. And it's received 27 hits since May the 26th. Um, and that's just from people visiting my uh, my Facebook fan page and noticing the button and clicking on it. I've got tracking set up on these other buttons as well and I have quite a few buttons in here. So you know I can always tell when um, people click. And that's useful information as long as the traffic is organic, meaning that it comes um, from someone browsing and, and finding the page or finding the the click or you know that link being placed in a autoresponder letter what you want to be careful of is using this type of link tracker in a credit mail uh, safe list or on a traffic exchange for example where people are clicking the link mostly because by clicking the link they earn credits so it it has no indication of whether they're interested in your offer or not they're just sim simply clicking the link um, you know to earn credits and so if you put a link tracker on that kind of thing you're probably gonna get you know a ton of hits but it's not gonna it's not gonna tell you any information other than there are people clicking your link but you don't you don't know why so um, be careful of that. Now um, I use an ad tracker that's inside my Traffic Wave autoresponder account and I simply go to Ad Tracker, create a new ad tracker URL, I um, paste that, well that's not a good example, um, paste that URL uh, into the, um, the link tracker software make sure it has an HTTP colon slash slash on it and then you submit this is actually asking me for a nickname and um, I'm just gonna use traffic swarm as if I was advertising this link on traffic swarm and submit and then verify that it's correct and so the system then creates this link right here and I would go to traffic swarm and put this link inside Traffic Swarm in my ad, not the original affiliate link. And then I would uh, log in to my ad tracker manager and over time look at the, the number of hits. So you can you can do this you know for any number of advertising sites you can even get as granular as um, you know if you're using a solo ad source and you mail once a week you can track the hits on any given week. Just you know, put that information in your your little um, nickname so that you know what it means or where that advertising source was. Okay. Um, now 
there are other places to do this. Um, here's another free place that I've used before. It's called Clicks Track. I haven't used this in a long time and I ended up having to create um, a brand new account. But um, let me see if I can log in. Let's see. Um, I want to log in. Using Roboform. All right, so once I'm inside Clicks Tracks, I just simply use this Create Tracker. And the campaign name, again, this is the little nickname. I'm just going to say Traffic Swarm and paste in, um, well, actually, I would want to paste in this other affiliate link here. And click Next Step. And then the Um, software asked me to choose, uh, let's see, I haven't used this in a while, but um, brief description, traffic swarm, the URL, if you want an alert, so like when you get a thousand clicks, but that's only available for upgrade, which I'm not upgraded, so I'm not going to worry about that and save tracking URL settings. Oh, I need to put in my HTTP. It's a good thing that it tells you. So, in case you're wondering what's wrong. Alright, so right here then they give me a tracking URL. So I can use that in my advertising and then um, over time return here to, um, I guess, the stats page, campaign stats, to see, you know, um, what the stats are. And so far I have clicks equal zero because I haven't actually put this into action yet. All right, so that's one level of click tracking that you can do. Now, I'll show you something else that I've used in the past that is extremely helpful. When I was um, marketing the My Partner in Profit system, as an upgraded member, um, Paul Bertzall provided the opportunity to take a referral link and add a little tracking code on the end. So it says, like, um, and ref equals traffic swarm, or maybe I was advertising on List Joe. And I would put this little tracking code at the end of all my URLs. And then let me show you what happens when I would get a sign up, not just a click, but a sign up into the system. I could go here in my back office and see where they actually came from. So in this column, I would see things like list bonus, list surfing, uh, state of the art mailer. Hawk Responder, these are all safe lists that I used. And by the way, if you're watching this and you're struggling to build a list, you need to plug into our Instant Traffic Bootcamp training course on free solo ads. I, I never want to hear anybody complain to me that they can't get an opt-in until they tell me that they have done what I used to do, which is mail to 50 to 70 different safe lists every single week. That's how I built this original list in here. Um, there I got a pro upgrade from list surfing. So um, this is Downline Builder Direct. These are all uh, safe list and traffic exchanges and that's what I used to do before I knew better. So if you're brand new and you're struggling definitely contact me back and, and learn how to how to do safe list. But so as you can see, uh, this was very helpful that I knew exactly where my signups were coming, not just where I was getting clicks. Because with clicks people are just curious. With a sign up you know that they're taking action. They actually had to sign up for something. Um, and then you can further track, you know, maybe you get uh, paid members 
from a particular advertising source and you would want to focus your attention on that advertising source once you start getting uh, results from it. So anyway, I hope that helps. I'm going to be um, talking to Paul Birdsall when I'm in Vegas at the uh, live event in July of 2013 and asking him if there's any way he could add this uh, referral tracking information to the Three Step Profit site and the Academy of Online Success because it is truly the best way to track links. Um, and uh, even as I speak, I'm, tr um, I'm checking out a new advertising resource and I'm, I'm promoting my partner in profit simply so that I can see if I get signups from that advertising source. I want to be able to see that source um, here in my referral list which tells me that I had uh, signups come from that advertising source. All right, hope that makes sense. So just to recap, uh, this type of feature is not available right now in the Three Step Profit site or the Academy, but um, I'll, I'll have a chance to ask for it and then maybe we can all begin to, to ask Paul for to add that kind of programming to the system. His programmers already know how to do it, so um, let him know how valuable that is to us. All right, that's it for now. Um, I hope that was helpful, and if you have any questions, please feel free to reply um, and ask for questions. And never forget to come to my Tuesday night webinars at joinsherrylive.info. Um, this is where I can help the masses, and um, um, we've had some tef technical difficulties, but come back um, and check this site. There'll be updated information here. And then you can click this link right down here to join the live webinar. So I hope to see every one of you that is struggling and has questions in the webinar. Um, and be sure to email me if you do uh, have questions. All right, that's it for now. You guys have a great weekend.